Hello everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft video, back on the Feed the Beast Hypermind server. So, today I have, to, I have been living with the bees for three days now. <laughs> oh god, so many bees. I figured uh, I should set up some automated systems to do some other stuff while I'm stuck here taking care of these annoying little... Nah. I've been trying so hard to get this one type of bee and I just can't get it. Eat the right bee. Okay, you're still going. Because there's um there's a certain type of comb I need to get the stuff, but I want to get um more pollen, some pollen, so I can make a new sort of apiary, and uh, it's basically an upgraded one which allows me to put heat controls in. So it means if we look at this one, this one's not actually doing anything, and that's because apparently this is a hostile environment for it, so let's have a quick look. Could use the bee analyzer. Yeah, because it's meant to have a warm and damp area. It produces some stuff we want, so we definitely want this one going, but if we go in here, it just hostile environment. So what I need to do is get some special pollen so I can make a special apiary, which will have heat controls, and I can basically make it warm and damp in the apiary without needing to go to another biome. But that's going to take some time, so I'm not going to bother with that today, we're done. We're done with the bees for today, we're moving on. We're going to go set up some automated systems. More than this, we're going to go set up a proper quarry. So, right, what do we need, what do we need, what do we need? We need to get rid of all this and make a quarry. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven gears. Three of which are iron, two of which are gold, two of which are diamond. Okay, and a bit of redstone. Simples. So let's get going. So I think that's enough. Boop. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Seven gears. Then we make them all. Whoops. Get the right material would help. We make them all into stone. And then we make them all into iron. And then we make, how many is it? Two, so one, two, three, four. Four into gold. There we go. And then we make two of those. I got emeralds instead of diamonds. That was silly me, where are my diamonds? Ah, oh, they're in here. Oops. There you go, and we got diamonds. Put two in there. Surround it. There we go, two diamond gears. Next, we can put the thing together. Like so. And we have one quarry. Sweet. So now we just need to power it. So we will use... There we go. We're going to use sterling engines, which just require stone by the looks of it. So I want three of these. So I want two, three, four, five, six. So I want six sticks. That should be enough. Damn near perfect. Okay, so we have six of those. We need to get some more stone from upstairs. Which isn't too hard. This is the uh the quick bit, then we gotta actually go set it up. I need more coal as well for it, I don't have that much. Yeah, I really don't have much coal. Stone is in this chest. Okay, so now we need to make these into stone, like that. Now pistons, so we need three. Oh, I need more wood again. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and I'll use that last bit of um, regular bit in a second, so two of those. Oops, and three, three pistons. Glass downstairs. Do I have some up here? Nope. Downstairs we go again. I really need to build a proper storage area. Really, that'll be soon on my list of goals. Soon. Close that. So it's got three bits of glass to make the engine, which we're going to need to take more with me thinking about it. 
three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. Three sterling engines. Then we need to take the glass, the pipes. Uh, let's see, we don't need the gold, we don't need the iron. What I need to do is look at how you actually make barrels. Okay. Because I'm going to want to make a few of these. I've got loads of half slabs upstairs actually, so I'm going to use those. I'm going to use them for depositing items into, like mostly cobble. So let's see. There's all the half slabs. So how many can I make? Not many. Two, actually. There we go. There's some more. There we can make plenty. So I think it's just like this. So six sounds like a good number. So six barrels. There we go. Actually, let's make another two. Oops. There we go. Eight barrels will pretty much do me for a while, I think. I can come back and make more. Okay, so we have a quarry, we have our means to power it, and we have storage. Uh, I need diamond pipes, I think there might be one at spawn. Hopefully there's one at spawn. I love these books. Since I've started using them, they've just been so useful. I need one diamond pipe, so let's see if there's any kicking around. Some stunning engines. I uh, don't need gold pipes. Nothing in there, nothing in there. And don't think I'm gonna find one somehow. Okay, it's not in there. Not in there. I'll have a quick look and be right back. Okay, I couldn't find any diamond pipes laying around, so I'm gonna have to just uh, do without and try and work out just how to do it with the barrels only. So as you can see, I'm in a completely different world now. This is age 35 of uh, the Mistcraft stuff we got. Where the hell is there a place without cloud? I swear everywhere I'm going is cloud. Give me no more cloud. I want out of it. I'm just perpetually stuck in cloud. Right, I guess we're working in grayscale. So what with this space is, it's a good mining place everyone can set up. So what I'm going to do, especially if I can get out of the fucking cloud, there we go. Jesus Christ. What's up here? So I grabbed some landmarks. And we're just literally just going to go boop. It's going to go one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's get these. Go boop. And now we can see what we're working with. We're going to make a nice big one. Because my fuel's limited, we're going to go too wide. Boop. We're going to go too wide again. So we're not going to go too big for now. Go boop and boop. Will this work? Not quite, no. Okay, so we need one more landmark down here. Right click. There we go, that area's all boxed in. We can grab these redstone torches back. Okay, very good. Grab that one. Because otherwise we're just gonna have these blue lines everywhere and we don't want that. Okay, so now we have our landmark. We put the quarry down. Quarry size is tank boundaries. What? What do you mean? Okay. Connected to that, won't that? Do I need to power that one? Nothing seems to be happening. So I don't know if that will just do it there or. Let's set up the engines first though. Let's go engine. I really should get some more tools. Engine, engine. And we're gonna power them all from one block like this so let's just see okay that doesn't turn on like a one but if I place a block whoops damn it I don't have a uh, let's use the rock car there we go place that there Why 
Why are you no work? Rock cutter. Is it rock cutter? Ooh, bit of lag. Okay, screw it. We're just gonna do it this way. So I can do this. Or not. God, what is with the lag today? It's incredible. It's not usually this bad. Come on. Thank you. Can I pick this up with the rock car? I hope so. But you know, I'm going to fix this lag and I'll be right back. Okay, I think the server was just reset, so we seem okay now. I hope. So, let's set up at this corner, since the other corner didn't seem to be doing us any favours. And work. There we go, it's connected to the actual thing now. And it looks like I get to pick these back up. Release that one. That's good, that is uh, actually doing it in that area. Next we want to power it. So let's dig out the room for the engines again. Then go boop, boop, boop. Then we will put in that much in there. That much in there. Obviously I need to go get more of this just so we can get started. That much in there. Then we need to wire it all together. Okay, then I will put that there, that there, and hopefully this should work. Okay, that only turns that on. Never mind. I just wanted to wire this up to the vehicle, but I can do that if I do this. Just use this for now. There you go, so now that you all should be on. Go, you crazy little machine, go! Awesome, so we actually have a start of our own quarry. Now we need to take some of the piping. We're going to bring that over here. Okay, so where are these barrels? Boop, 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 boop. Very good. So let's put cobblestone. That's not what I wanted. Cobblestone in that one. Cobblestone in the next one. We have a lot of cobblestone, so that's why we're getting that done. Sand. Whoa, what's going on? Sandstone, dirt, uh, gravel will go in. Gravel, uh, let's see. For flint. So basically, all these will fill up with that. And, you know, let's put one more cobble at the end because that's what we're going to get a lot of. Gimme. There you go. One more cobble at the end. Awesome. Next, we have our crafting bench, and we have a handy dandy tree right here. So we're going to get some wood that we need. Do I have an axe? I have an axe. One of the few tools I actually have left on me. So we'll grab this. I'm going to make a chest. Wait, two actually. I think if I surround it by gold. Okay, that's not how you get a gold chest. Let's set up. I was just guessing, so let's see. Gold chest. Oh, I need to make an iron chest first. Right, okay, that's fair enough. So grab all this back. We'll make two iron chests and a gold chest. And these basically just have extended storage areas. Ouch, I'm just dying a lot today. Okay, so maybe we have a gold chest and an iron chest. And these are just going to go at the end for extra storage. Okay, so we're just going to hook all these up. Now hopefully they shouldn't try and go into the wrong ones. If they do, we may have a problem, because uh, yeah, we don't want that. 
What I did want was a diamond pipe here to send ores and stuff to these chests while um, all the rest of the crap comes into these. So basically we're going to have to wait until this is done making the frame, which hopefully won't take too long. How's the fuel going? Ooh, we're going through that quite quick. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to find a good fuel source. Uh, I might have to do what the guys over here are doing if we come over this way. That is oil. Fuel right there! <laughs> I'm not sure how to use oil though, so I could chop these trees down and turn them into charcoal. But what's that? No idea. Liquid transpose or whatever that is. But what the guys are doing over here, no idea what that is, is they're using combustion engines with solar panels, which I think is a good idea. So these are all running all good and smooth and all that. So I might end up doing that eventually. For now I just want to get it started. So this way I won't have to run back and forth. You can see here, this is how um, Tool Jin's doing it. He's got a massive one, a 64 by 64. It's insane. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I need to do that trick. Which is if you put water in the center, it will um, take care of any lava that may spawn in the quarry. So we're going to go do that real quick. Just bounce up over so far away. This area is nothing but these little sectioned areas. So I guess it just helps you know where you can work and everything. Okay, so we're nearly done with the quarry. Oh no, the quarry itself is actually started. Going quite quick as well. Look at it go. So there should be sand coming out the pipes. Oh yeah, there it is. Awesome. Now let's see if it actually does what I want it to do. So the sand should come over to this one and then pop down. Do what I want. Seems to be doing it. Because logically it can't enter these. So it shouldn't try go down. Go down. Ah, that's the problem. I didn't think of that. Some of them will keep going through and just, um, you know, not go in these. Yeah, quite a few of them are skipping. I'm going to need to go get a diamond transport pipe then, in order to split things, so we can have all the dirt and all the sand and that sort of stuff coming down into its own little barrels. Yeah, because look, a load of it's coming just background on itself. Some of it's going in, which is good, which is what exactly what we want. So I just got the four. That's on ten. For the most part, it's working though, and then these will go down into random ones. Okay, so at least we got it started. Um, we probably don't have enough fuel to fill up these chests so we don't have to worry about that. What I will need to go do is go back to the overworld, get some more fuel, try and get a diamond pipe and then refine this area. Ow. But I think this is good. It means um, this can be mining while I'm digging basically. We can leave this to work, not to be too worried about it, especially once I get it set with the diamond transport pipe. So we'll head back to the world, we'll check the bees again quickly, just to see how they're getting on. So let's head back to Benito's Boutiques. God, I love these books. Okay, so the bees should have done some stuff while we were gone, hopefully. Please give me the bees I want. Well, those are two we need to breed to get the one I want. Okay, what about you? You're still going, I think. Yeah, nearly done. These ones? Uh, same again. Two I want. We keep breeding between each other. Hopefully I can uh, breed out the bits I don't want. So you're diligent and then unwary. See if we can get an unwary princess out of those. These ones I'm just keeping as a little side project. See what they come up with. Not too fussed about them. That's the one that's not working. This one should be nearly dead. <gasps> that's the one we want. That is the bee we want. Right. We want the industrious bee. And I've been saving these. Whoops. Here we go. I've been saving something back here for when I get them. The frames, which I mentioned in another episode. So we're going to grab these frames, going to come out here, be very happy and excited. Right, so come on, don't lag now. So we need that. Now, what bee do I want to put with it? 
So we're going to put the frames in. Now, do I did I save an industrious drone? Because I know I had more industrious drones. Because I got quite a few of them while trying. There we go. Let's use the B analyzer on these actually quickly before I use them. Just so I can see what I'm dealing with. Ooh. So you're an industrious, diligent hybrid with a fast working, which is good. And you make pollen, which is what I want. What's that say? 26 generations in captivity. Okay, very good, very good. So you want to keep you, and hopefully you're matching in a way. Oh, you're slow and short, but that doesn't really matter. Well, you're an industrious and industrious, so you're pure industrious, and you're industrious diligent. But hopefully, together, they should make a pure industrious one. So we're going to leave them to work. We've got the frames, which will increase their productivity. And basically, we're just going to hope that comes out all right. Hope. We're going to hope. Let's take the rest of the bees in here. We don't need them. But yeah, we got the quarry set up. I need to do some refining to it, but that shouldn't be too hard. And um, make stuff for me, you wonderful little bee. So we're going to leave that to do that, and uh, I think that was just about to do for this episode. Yeah, I think we've done quite good today. we got our first... Oh, yeah, i got these cool new trees as well. <laughs> just thought I'd add that. But yeah, we got the cool new trees, we got the quarry set up. Ooh. Can I just get Globex Corporation and One Wolf? Shaping the future. Seeds! Full of seeds! Yay! Awesome. Put that back in there for now, we don't need them. So here we've got a whole thing of seeds in case we need to do anything. So, ah, oh, we've got pollen already. Ah, oh, two pollen. Next time I'm going to refine these things, hopefully breed more of these industrious ones, because they're the ones we definitely want. And now I've got them, if I can get enough I can start working on giving them specific things like longer life, or um, see if I've got any with stats that I can show you that I have. Should be near the end, there should be some good ones. That's where I stopped. There we go. So let's see, there should be. There you go, there's like a no nocturnal one. So we're just going to do stuff like that. We're going to try and get these bees going. We're going to get the uh, sort of heated ones for those. And generally, I think this is very good. I think we've had a good episode. I'll get the work on that quarry to get it running efficiently and so show you it next time. But as always, this has been Benito, and I will see you next time. Toodles!